Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Subhavram Nani and as you know I'm preparing for my US Assembly Step 1 exam and I feel confident enough to reach a stage in my preparation where I can tell you about the resources I am using and maybe the resources which are recommended to use for this US Assembly Step 1 exam even after it has gone pass fail. So let's go. So US Assembly Step 1 has gone pass fail. That means your scorecard will only show if you've passed the exam or failed the exam and it will not give you a numeric score. That does not mean you cannot analyze the exam because uh, the scorecard, the blueprint of the scorecard for pass fail looks something like this and as you can see uh, you have analytics on how you performed in each section. Anyways, this topic or this video is about what resources should you use for US Assembly Step 1, especially after it has gone pass fail? So, considering that, should you change your resources? So, let me cover this straight. Personally, I don't think so, you should change your resources uh, because, as you know, uh, how well you perform in US Assembly Step 1 also correlates to how well you perform in US Assembly Step 2. Now this is not backed by research, it's just the general consensus that a person who performs pretty good in Step 1 is also highly likely to perform uh, pretty good in Step 2. So they say if you get a score of around 230 in Step 1, expect a score of 240 in Step 2. So have a plus 10 difference in your Step 1 and Step 2 score. So this is the general consensus. This is uh, by no means backed by research or something. Anyway, what I mean to say is if you perform well in step one, that means if you study well in step one and if you use the right resources for step one, that knowledge was, will also be useful for step two because I think most of the knowledge in step two uh, has the backing of step one knowledge. So if you don't know the step one knowledge, it's hard to crack the step two, the assembly step two exam. So what are these resources? So let me cover the classic UFAPS first. So UFAPS uh, does not stand for what you think it stands for. It stands for UWorld, First Aid, Pathoma and Sketchy. So these are the classic resources which people use for US Assembly Step 1 and I abide by this rule, UFAPS is amazing. Uh, so let me cover this step by step and I'll also share with you other resources which I'm using apart from the UFAPS. So number one, UWorld. What is UWorld? UWorld is the, I would say, the gold standard question bank for US Assembly Step 1. These days, AMPOS question bank is also coming up in the race for, you know, gold standard question bank. But still, the UWorld question bank remains the gold standard question bank for US Assembly Step 1. So should you use any other question bank other than the UWorld for Step 1? You can, but see, if you're uh, short on time, I would say if you cover all the questions of UWorld, I think that is pretty good knowledge for your step one exam because U world has so detailed explanations that uh, it will teach you the topic from the question it just does not have information on the correct answer it has detailed information on even the incorrect options of the question so it is a great great learning tool U world and also it has assessments so there is U world self assessment one and self-assessment too, which you can take with the UWorld subscription and use that to assess yourself in the end of your preparation. And that is, you know, highly predictive of the score which you're going to get in US Assembly Step 1. Hey, if you're liking the vibe of this video, now would be a great time to push that like button and also that subscribe button so you stay up to date with my channel and also help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more people like you who are searching for the same topic. Back to the video. So, people use UWorld in different ways. Some people use it throughout their preparation, like they finish a topic and they do the questions from UWorld and stuff like that. And some people use it in the end of the preparation. Some people use it as the only resource in their preparation, so they just learn from the question bank and nothing else. So, there are different ways to use UWorld. 
and that's a separate uh, video for another day uh, i'll tell you how i'm using u word so first of all i'm doing another question bank i am doing the usmle rx question bank the people who make first aid yes uh, a question bank by the same people so i'm using the usmle rx question bank throughout my preparation and when i'm done with the syllabus like you never done with the syllabus but when i feel confident enough that i know majority of the syllabus i will cover this usmle uh, or u world question bank after that so that's how i'm using but you can easily get away with using u world as the only question bank and yeah that's pretty much about u world and one more thing to notice that if you're planning to use u world throughout your preparation bear in mind that u world costs a lot so even for 3 months it costs a lot so if you're using it throughout your preparation let's say 6 months or 12 months so you have to bear the cost for that so just keep that in mind and it's completely up to you how you want to use u world but it's a great great learning tool and also a great assessment tool so first aid is a book which has all the high yield content you need to know about us assembly step 1 now i feel some people uh, use first aid wrong they think that if you memorize this first aid book that's it i don't think so that's how you should use first aid i pretty much use first aid as a skeleton as a framework of what i need to know for us assembly step 1 now medical knowledge in is a lot you study a lot in medical school but not all of that is important for your usmle step 1 exam so this first stage for usmle step 1 gives you a good framework and a skeleton of what all you need to know so this book contains all the high yield information but one thing it lacks is the understanding behind that high yield information if you are studying the you know chapter of asthma or copd or something like that it will tell you all the high yield information you need to know about the topic and yes you can crack questions from this information but to understand that high yield information you need other resources so we will discuss those resources but i would say first aid as a skeleton and framework and just to you know as an end revision of high yield material it's amazing uh, and you have to unlock the information or you have to decode the information for first aid because uh, you need to understand that high yield concept so pathoma is actually one of the resource which you can use to unlock the first aid content like i would say so first aid has let's say pathology and to understand the high yield points of that pathology pathoma is a great resource so pathoma is by dr satar he has videos and a book a pathoma book explaining the all of the pathology you need to do uh, for your assembly step 1 so this pdf and this book you can get with the pathoma subscription and you annotate whatever he says and whatever he makes you understand in your pdf or in your book and i think that's pretty much it for pathology it will cover all the pathology of all the uh you know systems respiratory reproductive all the systems as, as well as the uh, general pathology oncology etc so pathoma is like the gold standard resource like you cannot miss out on this resource i genuinely have not seen anyone uh writing the step one without using pathoma so pathoma is also helpful for your medical school like in general because uh dr satar uh, explains the concepts in such a beautiful way and in such a short amount of time that it's like it is the gold standard you cannot help it it is the gold standard now sketchy comes in where you have memorization so the memorization heavy subjects like microbiology pharmacology even biochemistry this is where sketchy shines so there is sketchy pathology also but you know pathoma is way better and uh, j- just in my opinion but if you say for farm and micro i do not know how i would have done pharmacology or microbiology without sketchy sketchy is the ultimate resource if you want to remember the drugs and the bugs um, so the drugs and bugs are covered by sketchy all the side effects all the names and 
basically every information you need to know about bugs and drugs is covered by sketchy and of course there is some information which are not there in their sketchy videos because it just does not fit the mnemonic or maybe it is not that high yield and you can always see from the framework of your first aid what all is covered and what all is not covered now we've completed ufaps now comes the resources the additional resources which maybe not everyone uses but they are also pretty popular and i'm using them so number 1 in my list is boards and beyond i've been using boards and beyond for everything literally everything except bugs drugs and pathology bugs drugs covered by sketchy pathology covered by pathoma everything else covered by boards and beyond so that means anatomy physio the understanding of all the topics is covered by boards and beyonds dr ryan is amazing i already have a review on boards and beyond uh, you can check it out here um, and i would say boards and beyond is the resource you need to unlock that first state the high yield content at the first state so it goes very well uh, according to the first state structure so watch a video of boards and beyond and understand the topic and then learn the high yield content from the first state for the same topic next comes the resource pixorize so i have recently started using uh, pixorize for biochemistry and immunology so these both topics are also very memorization heavy pixorize is just like sketchy but uh, you know they came in for immunology and biochemistry subjects earlier than sketchy and more people have used pixorize and they have vouched for it and that's why i use pixorize and i currently use it and i can vouch for it that uh, pixorize immunology and biochemistry you know gold standard i would say uh, i don't know how i would you know remember all the metabolism cycles nutrition vitamins if it was not for pixorize so yeah so there are also free resources for you assembly step 1 available on the youtube channel like uh, randy neil youtube channel uh, people have vouched for biostatistics uh from randy neil there is dirty medicine videos uh like one very popular video of dirty medicine is uh, what to do just before your exam day and even some concepts uh, from dirty medicine youtube channel and ninja nerd and you will find a lot of you know uh, resources free on youtube even explaining the usmle step 1 content but yeah that covers all the resources which are there for usmle step 1 and which i'll be using so yeah that's it So now you can see I'm I'm telling you a lot of resources and it is becoming sort of a resource overload for your U.S. Assembly Step One preparation. No, I'm not saying that you need to do all of these resources in order to get U.S. Assembly, you know, pass U.S. Assembly Step One. As I said, every person is different and every person uh, person's base knowledge and preparation is different. Some people can just do the U Word Question Bank and you know ace their Step One. because they have a good base knowledge they just do the question bank learn from the question bank and done some people have to do uh, boards and beyond kaplan videos pathoma sketchy pixorize first aid two three question banks and then they give the usml completely up to you in summary u fabs that means u world first aid uh, pathoma sketchy and more resources which are uh, boards and beyond pixorize and yeah that's about it and i'm also using the usmle rx question bank that's a lot of resources uh, so yeah if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you absolutely loved the video or if you gained you know any knowledge from this video and if you found this video helpful i'm saying a lot so just smash the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified for more videos like this and until then stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine